everyone, Miss Whitbourne here and welcome to another week of Maths Fun. What you'll need today is some felt tip pens and you'll also need some strips of paper. Mine are three, so three down this way and then half that way. So I cut my A4 into six, but they need to be fairly long and thin. <laughs> Okay, so when you have got your piece of paper, what I would love you to do is write your numbers from zero all the way up to 10. So one number on each sheet of paper. And then in a minute, I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're going to make it into a massive number line. And just one more thing, when you get to number 10, could you do an add sign just at the end in the corner? And even if you're really confident with your numbers, I'd love you just to start by going up to 10 today. Tomorrow, we're gonna to come back to this. So keep hold of all of these and we're gonna go up to 20. But for today, because this is a bit new, we're gonna all go up to 10, okay? Right, I'm gonna put out my number line. Maybe you could put out yours as well. <laughs> some questions here which I'm going to answer by using this as a human number line so I'm going to hold up the questions one at a time and what we're going to do is see if we can work out the answers using the number line and I'll show you how and then pop in the answers at the end okay so here is the first question four add three. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand next to number four. And I'm gonna stand next to number four and face the add sign. So face number 10, because if we're adding, that means we're getting bigger. So we're gonna face the biggest number 10, but I've also got a clue there of the add sign on number 10 to help me. So four add three. So I'm gonna stand on number four, and I'm gonna do three steps, but I've got to make sure that every time I step, I only go to the next one number. So I can't skip any numbers. I've gotta do just three steps, one next to each number. Are you ready? One, two, three. Right, which number have I landed on here? I have landed on number seven. So four and three, must equal seven. And I can use one of the other ways that I I um, I know that there because I could hold up four fingers and three fingers and it does equal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, let's find another one. Two plus eight. So I'm gonna stand on the first number here, two. Okay, I've gotta stand next to two. I must make sure I'm facing the plus down at the end there. I'm facing 10, which is when we add, we face this way. And how many steps am I gonna do this time? I'm gonna do eight steps. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've done my eight steps and what have I landed on here? I've landed on number 10. If you're feeling even more energetic than I am, you could actually do jumps instead of steps. That would be even better. Um, so we found out here that two add eight equals 10. Right, I'm gonna show you one more and then I'm gonna hold up a few for you to do. And if you do well with those, then maybe you could find an adult to do some with you. Right, so this one is seven plus 
one. So we're going to stand next to number seven. And how many jumps or steps are we going to do? One. Okay, and we've got to make sure we're facing this plus sign at the end there. So we're facing this way. Okay, you ready? One. <gasps> I've landed on number eight. So seven add one equals eight. Right, now I'm going to hold some for you to do. Okay, are you ready? Here is your first question to see if you can work it out. I know you might know it already without working it out with the number line, but we're just going to practice with the number line so that you can then use the number line with higher numbers later on. So even if you know, see if you can check your answer by using the number line. So first of all, which number are we going to stand on? We're going to stand on number three. And then how many hops or jumps or steps are we going to do? Three. So by number three, make sure you're facing the plus sign and do three steps. Ready? One, two, three. Did you get the same answer as me? Did you get six? Absolutely fantastic. Right, we're going to do another one then. Okay, this time we have got five add two. So again, you may know the answer without working it out from the number line, but we're just practicing with lower numbers today before tomorrow we take this number line all the way up to 20. Okay, so which number are you going to go and stand on? And then how many hops or jumps or steps are you going to do? Okay, so find number five, make sure you're facing up to number 10 and then do one, two jumps. What number did you land on? So if I found number five, one, two, did you get number seven? Brilliant, right, we're gonna do one more. Okay, so this time we've got six and three. So we're going to go and stand on number six and we're going to do this many steps, okay? So find number six, see if you can do three steps or jumps. Ready? One, two, three. Make sure you're only doing one number at a time. So six, one, two, three. Did you get number nine? Amazing. So if there is any way of you writing down these sums as you do them, that is absolutely brilliant. Now, your next challenge is to get an adult or a brother or sister to give you some more sums. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have lots of fun with that and I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye.